welcome back to the newest series. Uh, the newest at the moment of release. Uh, kind of stupid to say that new series. Now, I have played this game a bit and I've seen some of this game, so I know that some things about it. I know that there are stances, I know that you have spirits and shit. We're so just gonna start a new game. Here's a great new character later for a new game, yes, sure. I think I think I skipped that cutscene. Maybe on accident, maybe on purpose. I don't recall actually. Tower of London, built by King William. Built these walls, first abandon it. Blah blah blah. Pretty good looking cutscene. I don't know what this reminds me of. The Dark Souls? Like the Jail Cells? Or is it Oblivion, maybe? That's my spirit. It seems death won't stop chasing me. Let me just get my bearings. The axe is run. Okay. Oops. I feel like. Nice that even the corpses have voice acting. Damn it. I feel like my sensitivity. Uh, Kinda off the charts. Look at this shit. I feel like I'm turning very fast. Triangle and square. Oh boy. Now pretty much every enemy in this game is. Jesus, the range of that lunge. <laughs> what the hell? I already died. Damn this. How do I dodge? Oh god, already. Like I said, I didn't. I didn't really play that much. Oh, I have my sword still. Fight. What, are you doing? what am I doing? Backstabbing me, that's what I'm doing. Take the sword. Got the dungeon key. I guess yourself is your only savior. Interesting. Guard, help. 
LP dodge A. Oh, A is run slash dodge. So if I hold it, if I hold it. So if I tap it, it okay. Be that I have to hold the key, the key to actually do that. Okay, what do I get here? Oh yeah, the medicine. Oh, it's so weird. This this game's controls are. I have to get used to them. I guess we'll put it up. I know that there's a chest here. Uh, I don't know what the. I guess I'm. That's the same shit. Close combat damage. Familiarity. Uh, what's this? Oh, it's just like tutorials. All right. Now I did pass this like intro part type shit. Got to the tutorial, but I didn't really pay much attention to it, to be honest. Fire! 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 Okay, my youth. They're not that capable, like, they do some dumb shit. But this guy has a crossbow. So we're gonna bait the shit out of that guy. Uh, what do we got? Our legs. As far as I'm aware, this game has a shit loads of loot. He. Ah, uh, fucking no. And it's also tough, as you may have noticed by me dying, actually. Immediately. Oh, there's two of them. Why not I recall this? One down. I don't know what the fuck is going, but I got a hat. Let's see what I got here. The chest or trousers? Okay. Equip my sassy hat. Oh, I didn't cancel the menu. Even though I did play Dark Souls 3, I didn't, I never passed it, but I did play it. It feels quite different in terms of like the flow. I don't know how to explain it other way. Like it doesn't feel like the movement is the same. The movement in this game seems a lot faster. What am I doing, huh? Killing your ass. I think the best strategy is to not let them attack at all. has a spear but his range is not that great. Oh is this where the weapon is? Alright now I have seen what kind of weapons you can have and I'm thinking going weave, weave mode with my weapons and go for Tana and also go for the spirits and magic essentially. Why? Because I feel like it. Runkach a spear. I don't even recall finding that last time. Okay, not bad. Oh, nice. I think I'll use this. Uh, the spirits are like your... like a guardian spirit. Maybe a good comparison would be to like Shaman King, perhaps? Where they have their spirits and that they can put them into their weapons and shit. Kind of like that. You basically improve your attacks and you become invulnerable. There's only a limited amount of Amrita we can extract from this country, Kelly. Indeed, the pirates have served their purpose. The death of the leader of Japan will spark a war and a wonderful opportunity to acquire more. Now, I last time I didn't watch it all the way through either because it just seems like. I 
love how they all talk about all that shit. In... In like the public. Oh. I remember that. So they're sending this guy to... Japan for some reason to keep the war going and and essentially they want to execute the pirates which I assume is me that was very unfortunate I was hitting the wall there I think this is basically a shortcut it looks like the doors are blocked on the other side. Now... The time I had to play this game, kinda... Like, it doesn't seem... Like, it sh it sh it'll probably be a problem... To do with... All this bullshit. Nope. It is really tough. Like, unforgiving more than tough, I would say. It just doesn't allow you to do so so many things. Once you get hit, you're basically dead. Well, not really, but it's quite unforgiving. So that's definitely gonna be an issue. But we're gonna try our best not to die a million times. Okay, we got a new coat. Later on, we'll get some armor. Oh boy. This has decent range. More boots. These ones are yellow, which I assume is better. Usually goes, I guess, next one is green, maybe, or blue. Howdy. Okay, we traded. I don't mind trading. I have plenty of medicine. This guy has a crossbow. Hmm, the spear is not bad. I know that later on I'll get, like, more attacks in a way. Like, more stances, whatever the like, you can switch between stances and then you can somehow recover your stamina. Um, so the game is going to be complicated, but... I'm not really good at this kind of shit. Like, at changing shit. Not good at, like, fighting games in general. And this kind of reminds me of that, having, like, multiple stances. I have to, like, manage all this shit. But we'll see how this goes for me. Guy has a fucking crossbow, so we're gonna do this on me, huh? Oh, that was a terrible miss. So I'm gonna capital. Oh, no more energy for me. Oh yeah, I have not tested that. When this guy started running at me, it kind of gave me the idea. Okay, good. Okay. Um. Doesn't seem like I have a running attack, or maybe I didn't do it well. Oh, I don't recall this chest either. Battle axe. Okay, I don't know. Maybe the, uh, maybe I cannot do like a running attack. Or... Not sure, really. Now I know left is bad news. Left, I went left one time and I died. So I think going first to this area is much better. This guy's gonna die. Gonna charge that guy. Square him up. And then we're gonna poke him. Right now the movesets are quite simple. I basically have square which is the sideways swinging thing. And there's the triangle with the stabby thing. So basically right now it's quite simple, but 
it's gonna get complicated. First things first, we're gonna save here. Mistake I made last time as well is not saving here first. And then I died against the, the enemies that were down here. Oh, and also I have another thing, which is the stones. No, no. Poke. 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 And you can essentially toss the stones at people to attract them to you. I suppose it's useful since there's a crossbow guy up there, I think. Come on, swing. I, I wasn't sure if he was gonna swing again. We broke him, which is nice. Now we can tap the shit out of him. I feel like that's the crossbow guy. We want to dodge so we get into his blind spot. Kill this guy. No. Take, take him out. Okay, I got blast plate. Uh, which is definitely better than the cloak in terms of armor, and that's basically the only thing I care about, right? Okay. Right. Now, we're gonna toss this at this guy. It's gonna call up both of them, I think. But I think if I run away further, far enough, one of them is gonna stop chasing me. Right, perfect. Okay, this guy is a... Uh... I've actually never really... Oh, oh boy. have the stamina to pull this off. These guys have a lot of HP. And I really can't break through. Yes. All down. Oh. That's why there was a dude there. Because when you save it... Uh, last time I used the axe, I'll use it this time as well. Uh, less, it, it respawns enemies, like, it, like in Dark Souls, pretty much. Once you do that, it respawns them. The X does a lot more damage. So... I'm gonna use it. That's the triangle attack. It does a lot of damage, but it's kinda slow. Battle Axe. Breast plate, another breast plate. Great helm, gauntlets. We give ourselves the biggest advantage we can. Except for that, I'm keeping the hat. I'm sorry. Alright. Now, like I said, I've seen some of this game, so I do. I'll probably recognize some of it, some of the bosses, maybe they're more memorable. Because usually, usually they're really huge and shit. Or really overpowered and they seem to kill you a million times. I'm not sure when you die, do you like, have a soul to collect? Mm, don't remember anymore. Now these boys... I don't think I really need to kill them. But you know what they say. If I ain't killing shit... Jump. Just gonna swallow a pill. Oh boy. Okay, one is half HP. It's gonna jump. Almost dead. One is almost dead. I don't have stamina. This guy's gonna jump and die. Very good, very good. Let this guy strike, so we can strike him. That seems like a pretty good strategy. Just wait for your opponents to strike first. And then they're open for attacks. 
Uh, guess we'll pray, even though I don't know why I'm praying. Don't know if there's any real purpose to it, but let's see. the voice second. Striking when the opponent is down and helpless. Oh yeah. That's what they try to do to all of us who fought for Queen and Country. That's the final blow. That's the that's where I remember it from. I did pass this two before, so that's where we get the territorial hint. There's a knight guy and there's a normal guy. The obvious choice is obvious. This guy also has a crossbow which means he has to die cannot carry anymore so I'm maxing out on healing items that's fine okay that was not good he's gonna do a jumping one you can see because they start running it's a different movement like uh, no, now you can see that he's gonna oopsie daisy oh no no he's gonna do it again oh fuck this head some reach. Nope, nope, nope. This guy's barely alive, come on. Wing! Huh. Uh, I have full medicine. I think there was a chest here, was there not? There was. Oh, this is where you get the spear originally. I thought I didn't have it back then. Oh, uh, what's up here? I don't recall which way is the way. This is the way, so the other way is not the way. I know that one of these ways lead to, leads to the, basically, end of this prologue section type thing. And we're gonna have to do the tutorial this time, I'll try to pay more attention to it. Oh wait, this is the area. Fuck! I'm sorry. For some reason I thought that I was in the right place, but I was not. So it's up here that I have to go. To get this guy. Like I also jump from here, right? Damn. Made it all this way for nothing. Oh, I gotta do something. If I jump. I love the voice acting. I I made it all this way for nothing. Gotta do something. Like it's like he's almost singing. Dancing in the rain. This he's gonna get fucked. There's the boss, Eric the Executioner. Now, I have very short memory. Okay. I gotta take it easy because there's no point in taking it fast. Just gonna punch the shit. I know when he charges, like he has a big delay. I remember that shit. This is a single swing. Okay, good to know. I always analyze the moves of the bosses. This is gonna go for the third swing. So that's a very bad move to have, Derek. You, the most generic looking bad guy I've ever seen. The secret of the stones dies with me. Let me show you what these stones can do. Behold. Derek, no. It's time for your execution. This guy really looks like the most generic bad guy you'll ever see. With the whole fuck VDS look. Like, look at that smile. It, it makes me laugh as well. It's hilarious. Um, this, though, is not hilarious. Oh, fuck. You have to be very. Alright, oh, where well, you double tap, you do a different. 
type of thing. What the fuck did I survive that? Drink! Uh. Wait. Oh, this is the one. I was pressing the wrong buttons and wondering where the fuck it doesn't work. So yeah, now we get the... To see how that works. So basically, yeah. Uh, it enters my sword and then I slice him. Oh my waifu. So this spirit shall guide me to the kingdom of gold. Give me a second, I have to shit myself. To teleport. It's quite an inconvenience. Every time I teleport, I have to clean my pants afterwards. I got shot in the breastplate. the most amazing part of this shit. I can swim in full armor. Like I'm a dolphin. So yeah, that was the prologue part. I'll probably do the tutorial and then I'll try to find a safe station on the... I think it's right when the mission begins. During two years voyage, the Helof was lost, the trow sank, while the hope vanished without a trace. The good news of the Blyder boat sap was nothing but lies, only leaf that remained. An ironic twist. For what awaited us in the Far East wasn't love. It was monsters and death. Now this is basically all I recall in terms of... ...yet that I did already right now. So we'll see. We'll see what awaits us faster, further than that. I remember the boss being a big guy in the first, like, shit. I leaf once more through the curious book I had once. Recorded inside are the silver who once more Zipangu. Is that what Japan was called? Precisely how the document wound up in the hold of the ship when its altar clearly belonged to a crew of different abilities beyond me. But here I am pouring over its pages of the same, and for the first time while I joined my head, what I me above all else is what the memories main many accounts of the worst armor and weaponry. Okay. So, like I said, there's plenty of shit. I'm not gonna go absolute weep style, which would be to take the dual swords. So, or the kusa. How do you how do you even say that? Kusha kusa kusarigama. I, I don't fucking know. You got the obachi or whatever the fuck it's called, the tonfa, or the sticks. But I'm not gonna fight with sticks. I'm going for the katana. Gives me help, I think. Heart, right? Mm. 
Okay, the second weapon. Body. Skill. Stamina. Dexterity, strength, skill. What does skill do? I want to go... Body sounds like... His heart, not health. His body health? Stamina sounds like a good idea. Okay, I'll go stamina. Learns the knowledge of the martial arts. First known the fighting sense. Turn one key. Video the summer. I can use purification techniques. I know to explain it, but I feel as though I have some innate ability to grasp all these concepts. It's called plot. The memoirs. The memoir states Zipangu is home to eight million gods and other deities. Exactly how this figure was derived, I can only imagine. But I cost. But as I cost my gags. To the shore, I am struck by the sensation that some mystical power has been keeping watch over me. It is an energy that reminds me of Sor S uh, so Sauri Jesus Christ. I pull out the memoir once more and survey each page until I arrive to the guardian spirits the best matches the force I am sensing. Oh yeah, spirits. Fire element. Spirit element. Skill element. I'm going for fish. Turkey boy. Sense enemies. Evasive abilities. Fuck evasive. I'm gonna sense enemies. Close the memoir. Heart, stamina, spirit. Okay. Okay, yeah. If you wish to begin... Yes. Let's get the tutorial going. And then after the tutorial, like I said, I'm gonna try to find the shrine and basically... Finish up this episode. It's probably already pretty long. I don't know what the audio is going to be like. I didn't test it, actually. So I'm hoping it's not going to be too quiet on my end or too loud. I did, like, the music turned it down a bit because it seemed very loud. Okay, I remember this. Take the sword. The wooden sword or whatever the fuck. Time to equip it. I'm doing this tutorial mostly for you and to get a better grasp on this shit. Okay, strong attack, quick attack. The quick attack fast, but doesn't consume much key, but only causes slight damage. Strong attack is powerful, but consumes more key and lowers your guard. If your key reaches zero, you will not be able to attack unless it recovers. Don't need to play it, I know exactly what I'm doing. That's how you do it. Lock on, switch target. Yes, I understand how that works as well. Step, 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 step. Wait, wait, is that really all that this thing has? Is a stab move? Triple stab move. Okay, the next tutorial is over at the bridge, so we're gonna have to do it. Okay. I dodged it. I blocked it. Fucked up, bro. Mm. I like the combat. It's very nice. Very fluent. Even though it seems like I'm gonna get one shot most of the times, but still. And now comes the bullshit part. RB, triangle. Square and egg. High stance emphasizes attack power. Does for powerful techniques. Mid stance is good for defense. It has a wide range of techniques. It's easy to use. Low stance is good for dodging. It doesn't consume much key. It also maintains your guard as you move. So let's see. So up, down, up. And then we have the, the spinny shit. Okay. That's the high stance, so... This is basically what we're gonna have, because this is also a sword. Then, the spinny attack. Um, can I jump? No, I can't. Damn. Just as fuck, boy. So what, medium stance? No, all stance. Damn, that's fast. And doesn't do that bad of a damage. Damn, the triangle on this shit looks fucking great. Let's let's try that again. Ha, ha, ha. Very nice. And then the... Is this an infinite attack? I think it might be. Yup. 
I mean infinite as long as you have stamina, I suppose, or what that key. And now this is basically the stance we've been using so far. Has a pretty good combo as well. What do we have here? While blue lights appear, gather around you after attack, keep also covers your key. The amount varies besides the train, the maximum amount is determined by key gauge. So that's basically what, how you do to like regenerate faster. A lot of things to think about when you're fighting shit. Yokai Realm. Going back to normal. Yeah, I remember that as well. There you go, that's how you do it. Now it's gonna give me the other weapon. Wait. Does that mean that if I choose different weapons, I get different shit? How do I switch weapons? Like so, apparently. Oh, the triangle is so nice in this. As much as I would like to be a butcher, I kinda wanna be a weep. Oh yeah. And when it comes to like ranged weapons, I want a freaking gun. It does more damage too. So how do I use it again? Uh, LT, RT, switch ammo, zoom. Zoom with... Yeah, I'm great at aiming. I have to aim with my body more than I am. Oh my god, it's so sensitive. Maybe if I out zoom it. No, it's still too sensitive. I have to... You know what? Let's do it right now. Why not? This guy seems like it's just gonna stand there. Might as well. Uh, keyboard, camera, settings. Aiming camera. Let's reduce it by two. And reduce that by two and see now how this is gonna go. Much better. Yeah, this is a bit more stiff. Which is kinda an easier to, way to aim. Alright, uh, this will allow me to get my gauge up, I think. Oh, huh, interesting. Why would I want to do that? Essentially, you can charge up your spirit gauge with this shit. But I didn't get much of it, to be honest. Barely half. I wanted to summon my fish. There we go. The current spirit full press becomes full of living weapon that press. Triggering a living weapon changes the health gauge into key gauge into the living weapon gauge. As long as the living weapon gauge is active, you are impervious to damage. And your close combat attacks inflict more damage. The living weapon decreases over time and when the enemy lands once the gauge is full depleted effects wear off. So yeah, there's a unique skill type thing. You boys about to get fished. And this is like the, the special. A, a bit of a spin move. Kinda looks like that weapon you can like use with the... What's the... In Skyrim and I believe you know what's it called? Conjuration? Yeah. Kinda looks like that to be honest. Oh. I know this was pretty long for sure. I didn't want to, like, skip out on the tutorial. That's okay. This thing which have been re as to make landfall for all I have read on this country, nothing can truly prepare me for what light now lights ahead. I put the memory memoir down and leave my cabinet. Cabin, not cabinet. Kuroshima. There we go, that's our ship. The sails look a bit torn. My joystick has vibration, which we're gonna turn the fuck off. Now the graphics, you might notice it's not the highest. Mostly because... Well... My game would 
like my recordings would lag. So I do apologize about that. Hopefully it's watchable, you know? Hopefully it's not. I wish there was like a quick button for this. Uh, right, I forgot what I, what I did this for. Basic game settings, maybe? Pause. Subtitles on, damage display. Key display. I have no idea. Individual game settings. door is off see like it's pretty low quality but it's fine oh, oh. there's a shrine right here the bad duke I don't know what they're gonna do to you oh boy I know I can break this by rolling into them Get some cash, cash money. Yes, he wants to sell, save himself. I think that's what he says. Like it says he's trying to run away, but I don't think that's what it says in Japanese. I'm not by any means a Japanese expert or something. I don't speak Japanese, but I watched... Uh, but I watched enough anime to recognize some words that repeat themselves. But don't take my word for it. I'm probably mistaken. Oh, so I get some more. So I can level up. Essentially my level up costs how much? 250, huh? What's body give me? Uh... What's life? Okay, so this gives me equipment, weight, rate, and life. Isn't body what I took, so is it hard that I took? So life, key, and attack for my melee weapon. Okay. Stamina, we have magic, which also gives me health and gives me magic power. We have spirit, which gives me more guardian spirit bond which does what again hmm interesting that's actually pretty good but for now i'm gonna upgrade magic and then i'm gonna upgrade pretty much what does this give me ninjutsu power and health i don't need that this gives me nothing peoples and samurai skill points and ninjutsu power what does strength give me? Samurai skill points. So I'm gonna mostly focus on art, body, strength, stamina, and magic and spirit. Okay, that's a lot of shit. But for now, I'm gonna take magic. I don't think I have that. Make offerings, bones. I think this is learn skills and I have to go here to get magic. So basically all versus Yokai realm. Resistance. Divinate. What's divination? Action capabilities. I don't think I need that. This is what I want. Hmm. 
Like I have one, no, two of them. So I need to sort. What's this? Grapples an enemy who is out of key and follows up with a powerful attack. Play movie. Alright, what's this do? This seems like it could be useful. But I guess this could be useful too. So now I can try that out, how, how that works. So yeah, it does recover a bit more. Okay, this is gonna take some getting used to, especially in combat. Like I have trouble doing it. How do I know that I saved? Six. My capacity is too low. I don't want to connect to the network. Like, I hope that I'm saved here now. But, anyway. I'll see you all in the next episode. This was episode number one. And goodbye for now.